Alright, so for today's video, I'm going to be installing this KNN intake that I bought for the S2000. I bought this intake maybe like two weeks after I bought the car. And I've had the car for about three months. And I've just never got around to putting it on. So today, I am going to try to do that. And uh, yeah, what I'm seeing here is going to have to mess with this stuff and since I didn't buy the intake um, straight from KNN I bought it used I'm gonna be missing some stuff so I think um, hopefully I could do it if not oh well so let's see I'm going to turn on the car right now let it warm up give you some revs with the stock intake and then also try to find out a way to do a couple pulls with the stock intake to compare with the K9 intake. I haven't turned on the car in two weeks, so hopefully I think it should be good. All right, so I'm about to do a couple of uh, revs for it. Yeah, so you can hear how it sounds with the normal engine. That was at top was 5500 RPM. I don't want to rev it too much because uh, you know I'm at my house. But yeah, the noise you just heard, I just revved it up to about 5500 RPM. So I'll do the same once the K9 intake is on. I have all my tools out what you're gonna have to do is take these out right here just like that there's this one two three four and five and six I think that's it so you can start off with that so far all I've done is take off that cover disconnected this from right here took this off from right here I already loosened this one there's a little screw that goes here just take it off you can see right there. Just the screwdriver. And then loosen this one right here. I 
think it should be ready to come out. So let me try it out right now. So that's out. I believe there's a 10 right here. 10 over here and a 10 somewhere over here, I think. Right there. So take those out and they should come out already. Progress so far. I have the box on and I'm just trying to figure out all this stuff. So yeah, since they didn't give me the hardware to mount it down, down there, I just used the, the stock ones from the stock air box. And then, but just the stock one won't, won't fully tighten. So I put two spacers and then it's the stock spacers so or it's three spacers in total. So it's pretty sturdy. And then um, now what I'm doing is I'm gonna have to take these two off from this, I think. Uh, wait, let me see. I'm trying to think. So this one goes to here, this one goes to here. I'm trying to see, I think this one, we're going to connect it over here by taking this, because all this has to be deleted pretty much. And then I'm going to just end up putting this to here. All right, so here's my progress so far. I'm almost done. I need to take off this metal thing, put the hose in there. I need to find a plug for that because that I think the guy that had this one was an AP2. So he had to put like that plug in there with the sensor, but I don't need to because I have the solenoid. So I have to find a plug. And then all this stuff right here, I had to make my own like little hose for the coolant line and then like for the backing lines hopefully it's all good um and now i'm gonna go get a hose that fits from there to there so i'm going to like AutoZone or pet boys today i took off that metal thing so it's clamped down now i got a hose i went to o'reilly's this was a little bit bigger so right here this is good but right here this clamp was pretty hard to get on as you can see there's like barely any space so this one was pretty hard to get on but it's on now it's on good and then the plug i went around to like three stores i couldn't find anything so i have this bag of random stuff and i found one of the it's like a bumper clip and those these types and then it fit perfectly i think you could still take it out but it's secured in there I kind of want to try these, but these seem too small. So I'm gonna just turn on the car like this, pretty much. I went to uh, Pet Boys to, to get this. I'm not sure if it's gonna be big enough. It might be, but I'll, I'll test it out. I'll, I'll like to check right now, and then I'll turn it on soon. It fit, it's good, chilling. Won't move anywhere. And then, so I think it's ready to start now. So hopefully nothing goes wrong because of, I feel like that's the only problem that's gonna give me the, this. Cause I don't know if it's fully sealed, but we'll see right now. Oh yeah, I should probably connect the battery. And check engine lights, anything. Oh, I think it's good other than the solenoid going crazy because of this wire over here. Watch, I take it off and it stops. Put it back in and it does that, so I'm off. I think because this, this one's too big, it's, yeah, it's too big, so it's letting like air out. That's my guess. So uh, I'm gonna get some more from the junkyard from just like a random Honda that's gonna be the same size, but it does sound way better. Watch. test it out real quick same route that I went yesterday and just see how the difference is
shaking right now. I just came back from the drive. I don't know why the camera's so shaking, but uh, everything seems good. This is still good. That didn't touch, and I was, you know, doing some pretty decent turns, turning and pulls. So seems I think that was from before, right there, that little piece. But if it's not, then I'm a go get some of that either way because I don't even drive the car that much so next weekend I'll go to the junkyard get more of that tubing make it longer so it won't be so close that as well this line is temporary and uh, everything is good let me see if yeah no coolant leak there no coolant leak on the bottom one which you could see over there so success on this it's all good now now i'm gonna probably just wash the car and uh cover it up for the week and that's it later